Riviera Skyliner Station waiting for the Skyliner to Epcot because old Speedy Thumbs here got us the first um, Guardians virtual queue again. So yeah, that's your new nickname. I'm calling you Speedy Thumbs from okay. now on. I suppose now's the time to confess that I've left my camera in the room. <laughs> so yeah, I'm filming on my phone this morning, so you will see a lot of my arm. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see the difference in quality actually, and particularly sound quality. So hopefully it will be a helpful experiment for me in that sense. Oh, and also, by the way, I'm wearing my Steamboat Mickey ears today, and I love them. I'm so excited. Hello, future editing Sophie here. I just wanted to warn you that because I was filming all of this on my phone, it does this thing where the picture like jumps around so I think it's where the phone is trying to focus on something and it just can't so it does this every time that I film on my phone which is really frustrating so if anyone knows how to fix it please do tell me but you will see that for the clips at Epcot when I'm filming on my phone it's very jumpy so I just wanted to apologize for that in advance because you're going to see that throughout the video but I hope it doesn't take away from your enjoyment too much and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video so this was on my bucket list if you saw my video um, so this is the new France area which I'm very excited to see and a nice view of the Skyliner against the beautiful blue sky over there. We're heading for Ratatouille. It was 25 minutes, it's now 30. And then hopefully we'll be getting on Guardians. Yay! So we're off Ratatouille. Yep. We haven't actually spoken about this yet. So what do you what did you think? I thought it was good. It was just like another sort of like a Spider-Man ride. Which yeah. I don't love. They're all right. I'm like I, it was good. It was good. Yeah. I mean it was a lot of like 3D effects, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I agree. I really liked the trackless system because, like, you, everyone kind of splits up. I yeah. thought that was just a bit of a novelty. Yeah. And we only ended up waiting like 20 minutes in the end. Yeah. Which, and I, to be honest, I don't think I'd wait any longer than that. No, I don't think I would. It was posted at 30, so yeah. it was slightly quicker. I think we're still waiting for Guardians. I'm just going to check if it's come back up or not. Yeah. Um, it was down, so that's quite fortunate, really. It's half nine now. If not, then I guess we'll have a wander and see what's got a short wait time and do that. to talk about Guardians. <laughs> oh my god. We loved so it. <laughs> that, uh, do you know what that might have actually that might be my favourite Disney ride. I agree. Yeah. I think that's my favourite as well. More than Tron. Yeah. Which is saying more something than, for you. More than Flight of Passage. Yeah. Oh that was so good. And we got Everybody Wants to Rule the World, I should say. Um, One of my favourite songs ever. And also somebody didn't know, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> She was like, I don't know if it's track ride, I don't know what it is. I thought, is it like a three, one of those three d like screen rides? Mm. And when yeah. we rotated, she was like, oh my god. Yeah, also, we were on the front row again. We were, oh my goodness, we've been so lucky. That with Hagrid and with this. You're gonna have I know. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, amazing. I, I, think, I would do it again right now. I was gonna say, I think I we're gonna have to try again for another virtual queue later in the trip. Oh. We're gonna have to come back to Epcot more often now. We haven't planned yeah, to come back very often, <laughs> we're gonna have to that's now. That's the only reason I want to come back to Epcot. <laughs> Um, yeah, obviously. So I think we're going to go and get some food now. Yes, please. You're a bit hungry and I will be. So yeah, we think we're going to go to Connections Cafe. So that'll be a new experience for us as well. Yay! I know it's just Starbucks, but I would say that that was a successful trip. <laughs> oh, I love a Starbucks. So that was Connections oh, Cafe. I had a ham and Swiss croissant, which was really nice. Um, you've just had your caramel frappuccino. I have. I love a caramel also frappuccino. Also very nice. Very nice. Um, and we're now just heading to Spaceship Earth because it's a 15 minute wait. So why not? So we just got off Spaceship Earth, that was a 20 minute wait I think, which was great. It was nice to have a little sit down and get some air conditioning. I'm now just waiting for Natalie to come out of the toilet, but we think we're going to head back through World Showcase to the Skyliner Station, head back to the hotel. And then this afternoon we're going to go over to Magic Kingdom, but we are going to try and get on the 1pm um, virtual queue drop for Tron. I've noticed recently over the last week or so that the virtu virtual queue is staying open until like 3, 4 o'clock sometimes. So hopefully we're going to manage to get on this evening. Obviously we can't get to Magic Kingdom until we can park up at 2. So we're just going to head over at 3 or 4 and see what we think. Exciting day ahead still.
back in the room. I think the last thing you saw was us at Epcot. We came back on the skyline and we walked straight on, had a cabin to ourselves, which was quite nice. And it was an unwrapped one. I think that's the first unwrapped one that we've actually been on. So it was nice to get a proper view of everything. It, it, I think it really makes you realize how little you can see out of the ones that have got a character wrap on them. And sorry if you can hear the noisy aircon in the background, but we are just getting ready to head out to Magic Kingdom. We're gonna see her happily ever after tonight, which is so exciting. And we're also going to eat at Columbia Harbor House where we've never eaten before. So that'll be really good. We've had a look at the menu and actually they've got quite a few gluten-free things for Natalie. So I think we're both really looking forward to it. I'm also planning to have a photo at the purple wall with my purple wall backpack. <laughs> and I've got my purple, Disney 100 ears to match, well, sort of match. So yeah, we'll be heading out shortly. It's 20 to four and I've just checked and the Tron virtual queue is still open for the one o'clock drop. And I am, not only am I desperate to get back on, I really want to do it in the dark. So I'm really hoping that we've got a later queue number. The frustrating thing is that for Tron, they don't have like an estimated wait time, but we'll just have to see. We'll have to get there and then obviously join once we've tapped in. So um, yeah. You excited for Magic Kingdom tonight? I love Magic Kingdom, I'm always excited for Magic Kingdom. What are you most excited for tonight? Obvious question, but Hopefully I've got to ask. we can get onto Tron in the dark. No, no, what are you most looking forward to? Oh! <laughs> That's the wrong tune, but you know. Yeah, but yes, also getting onto Tron again. And um, yeah, I do just want to re-emphasize that we've just been talking about Guardians a lot. <laughs> we loved Guardians of the Galaxy and if you watched my Disney plan video then we've actually rejigged the plan slightly so that we've got a little bit more Epcot time and a little bit less Hollywood Studios time. I don't really know why I booked in so much Hollywood Studios time and so little Epcot time but now that we love Guardians obviously we're going to be trying to get the virtual queue for that although Lightning Lane today I think was $14 which isn't horrendous but if you can do it for free then why wouldn't you? So come along with us to Magic Kingdom! We are here. here! I can't quite see you, it's dark, it's okay. It's quite cool. it's not dark, it's bright. It is bright, yeah. yeah. And I've got some your mouth. Oh! I was so distracted by getting our virtual queue for Tron that I've just been like, ah, we're here in Magic Kingdom again! Um, we, we managed to get it, we're group 184, so we've got a long way, but hopefully we'll be in the dark. We're just having a photo with uh, Roy and Minnie now. These are the Mother's Day treats. They've got crispy treats and candy apples, very cute. This is so satisfying. I would love for my job to be to like sort all of these into the right colours. We've just had some really nice photo pass photos, aren't well, we? Hopefully they're really nice. Yeah. Well, um, I feel like we're getting into the swing of it now. We're getting loads and loads of photo pass photos. Um, definitely would recommend getting Memory Maker, by the way. I mean, it's included in our ticket, so we're a little bit biased, but it's so nice to be able to just go up to people and be like, yep, yeah, thanks, bye. So we're heading to Adventureland and we're going to try and do Pirates because that was a 15 minute wait just before we had some photos. We're going to do that and then maybe Big Thunder because that's about 25. If anyone's heard about the cheeseburger spring rolls, this is where they are now. They used to be right by Pirates and they're now by the Adventureland entrance from the hub. I think it's 9.50 for two and um, we liked them but they were greasy was kind of our conclusion and also very expensive. <laughs> so here we go. First time in Adventureland. Let's try not to get sprayed by the camel. So Natalie's got this from Sunshine Tree Terrace, which is now half eaten, but it's um, strawberry and vanilla Dole Whip, and it's really good. Really good. Isn't it? And that is just here next to Skipper Canteen, which is just across from Jungle Cruise. I think it was 5 29 It's quite a decent price, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the upstairs of Sunshine Tree Terrace, they've got all those little fake plants. So cute. I'm such a generous sister that I just helped you finish that ice cream, didn't I? <laughs> oh, it was so good. <laughs> that it was, really that good. was a nice, yeah, I'm not good. normally a strawberry fan, strawberry ice cream fan, or yeah. any fake strawberry flavour. I'm fan. the same. But that, that, that tastes really good. It tastes like real strawberry, didn't it? Yeah, That's it did. Good. And it wasn't too sweet, which sounds natural. Nice, yeah. No, yeah. it was It was really nice, actually. And the vanilla was very milkshake oh. Yeah, um, that vanilla was Oh, yeah, top tier. Um, so we're now going to head over to Pirates, I think, which is now 20 minutes, but still nothing really. So, Jack Sparrows are looking a bit yeah. worse for wear. 
Note to self, you must buy a Dole Whip. A pineapple one, pineapple's the best. I think you can only get pineapple Dole Whip from the Aloha Isle. And then I also want to do the Enchanted Tiki Room, which I've never done before. Um, but I hear a lot of things about it. I think it's a bit of a cult classic, so I'm intrigued to try it. Here we are. Let's hope that the wait time hasn't gone up during our meander over here. Still 20 minutes. <laughs> So we're off Pirates, I just showed you one little clip of my favourite bit at the end which is the dog with the key, <laughs> yeah, because dogs are cute. Um, that said it was a 20 minute wait and it was about 10 so that was really good. Um, and we're now just heading over to Big Thunder which, did it say it was 25? Uh, yeah, 20 or 25. So again, short wait, might as well do it now. We did look at Peter Pan which was 55 and Seven Dwarves. How long was that one? Uh, 85. So we won't be doing those. <laughs> not, not right now. I remember having tacos at Pecos Bills and that they were really nice. What did yeah. you have when we went there? Uh, I can't remember. I don't think I did. No. I have Mexican food. Yeah, I think you're right actually. But my tacos were good. Um, and Splash is well and truly on its way out. Here we go. Allegedly. Um, I didn't say the... Where are we going? Should we go this way? Let's go this um, I didn't say that Big Thunder was posted at 20. It was actually 10 and that was basically a walk-on. Yeah, we like stood there for about two seconds. Yeah. And um, if you haven't gathered, I in particular am really loving like checking the wait times and seeing that most of them are overinflated, which is good. Obviously, that's better that way than the other way. Yeah. There's the castle. Would you like a photo here, Natalie? Yeah. Here we come. 25 minutes, stand by line. Yeah. <laughs> but now we know for sure it's 25 minutes yeah. and it may not even be that to be honest if we can bypass the blob of people at the front by going down the side then it will probably be less good should we have a little selfie just got off the haunted mansion and we had a nice little, nice little photo pass when we came out we did and it was it was about a 20 25 minute wait wasn't it yeah it wasn't too bad though it didn't feel like a long time no um, so we're just going to head to Small World because it's only 10 minutes and then we're going to head to back to Columbia Harbour House for our dinner. Yeah, and I'm getting hungry so I'm very excited about that. This is our first time in this area of Fantasyland, isn't it? But to be fair, it is known as the Fantasyland bottleneck, so... But it's not too busy today, actually. I kind of love that you can see the load platform from the queue. It makes you feel like you're really close even when you're not. So we just got off Small World. Um, it was a 10 minute wait when we got in the line. It was actually about 15. It's now so we're doing that well. Um, but we're now in Columbia Harbour House waiting for our order to be ready. So look at this, it smells good it in smell here. Good. We've never it's cold though. Yeah, exactly. So first one. So this is Natalie's children gluten free uh, shrimp skewer with fries and green beans. And you got a sweet tea. And then I've got the trio with rice. So this is uh, shrimp, hush puppies, fish, and chicken and rice, I think. So we'll try it and see if it's nice. So verdict on Columbia Harbour House. I really liked it. I liked it. I well. mean, it was, it was basic food, but yeah, my shrimp was really nice. It came with a decent amount of fries and green beans, considering it was a kids' portion. Yeah, um, and obviously uh, I got an iced tea as well. So that's yeah. And it was only like eight dollars fifty yours, so that was a bargain. Um, mine was nice as well. The only thing is I'm quite sensitive to greasy food, and because it was all deep fried, um, it did make me feel a little bit like I've had too much greasy food towards the end. But yeah, no. Overall, I think it was good. It was very loud. It was very loud. Lots of children they had got shrieking. The open, I don't know if you can see those bubbles. Um, yeah, but would, would you go again, I suppose, is I, the Yeah, thing. I'd eat there again, yeah. It was yeah, nice, so would I. actually, to have a menu <laughs> that had the gluten split out from everything yeah. else, and that they didn't the kids do it. Yeah. I'm a bit of a difficult person when it comes to food. 
Yeah, yeah but, but it, yeah, that was it, it was really easy. We ordered on the mobile app, and it was really, yeah. really easy. It t did take a little while to pick up, but yeah, but it's not the end of the world. But yeah, no, I, I have to agree. Actually, when we were looking at the menu beforehand, I was like, oh, there's kids' meals, and I was like, oh, there's gluten-free kids' meals. Um, so yeah, definitely good if you've got an allergy, um, and specifically for gluten, because we didn't look at anything else. <laughs> no. But now we are just heading over to Tomorrowland. Um, we are going to take a photo with my purple wall back, by the purple wall, um, and then we're going to hopefully get on the people mover. Can you see the Magic Kingdom camp out? There's people everywhere. We were just discussing what it's for, but we think it must be happily ever after. So what else could it be? It's half seven. It doesn't start for an hour and a half. That's crazy. So Natalie just took some lovely photos of me by the purple wall, and um, we just hopped into bus. Like you. Smashed it. Did not smash it. <laughs> it's payback for men in black because she beat me twice. I don't think my butt was working. Yay. Yeah. Uh, we're now in the queue for the people mover, which is 10 minutes, allegedly. But it looks longer, so we'll see. It's the people mover. Enough of a ride that if I film on it, it's classed as a spoiler. <laughs> Look at beautiful Main Street. Look at that beauty. it's because it's raining and my camera I don't want to get wet so it's safely in my bag my uh, phone fits in my bum bag but look at Main Street beautiful even in the rain and the lightning <laughs> still looks gorgeous so we're waiting for happily ever after it's about 20 to 9 so we're 20 minutes away it's spitting but I've got my hood up anyway um, yes over my ears um, and there's a, a lot of lightning, so a lot of the rides are shut. Um, so I guess we're just going to wait and see, but hopefully it should still be on. You'll be pleased to know that it stopped raining. The show came on, albeit a bit late, and we loved it, obviously. Um, but we were quite close to the castle, and we both thought it's better from further away because you see more of the projections. Um, so we're now in Tomorrowland. Um, um, I don't know what we're going to do. We're still in the queue for Tron at the moment, but whether we're going to get on is another question. Um, we're about 20 boarding groups behind, and it's 10 to 10, so we've got an hour left of park time. We cross everything, so... Yeah, I know. So, um, yeah, don't know what we're going to do. Just having a wander at the moment. I'll let you know. We're going on Astro Orbiter because it's five minutes, and you might remember Astro Orbiter was on my list. Especially in the dark, so hopefully it's good. I think it's for the lighting. Careful, lift off! Ah! Oh, I thought you were taking a photo, that's why I was like posing. Here we go! Wow, look at all of this at night! How beautiful! We're a bit dizzy after that. <laughs> 
while we were up there, we got caught for trying. It's uh, about quarter past ten. Yeah. So we've got plenty of time, and oh my god, we are so excited to ride in the dark. So excited to ride in the dark. Right. I feel like it's going to be even better. Yeah, agreed. So um, yeah, we'll be there shortly. I honestly feel so lucky that it's the end of our second full day at Disney and this is going to be our second time doing Tron and we've done Guardians today. Like, how, how lucky are we? I don't know if I can claim that it's like tactics or anything. I mean, Natalie's just had super fast thumbs, so obviously that's helped. But yeah, just amazing. And if anybody asks, this is why the parks at night are my favourite. As much as I love rope dropping and getting to do stuff early, it's just beautiful all lit up. And yeah, we both felt a bit uh, dizzy after Astro Orbiter. And when we were coming down, it was like proper meant to the side as if it was gonna like break off the arm. I don't know if it's because we're two adults or what, but yeah, we both said we wouldn't do that again. But it was nice to do and it's nice to get a good view. We're all going on a nighttime Tron a day. I really hope this isn't too much of a spoiler for anyone because like I avoided spoilers for this. Um, so yeah, if you don't want spoilers, just skip ahead. <laughs> oh look, there's the people mover. So the line is very, very long. We think they've probably called all the boarding groups and everyone's just rushed off, so uh, we'll see. significantly better at night? No. Like, it was a good job, it was a good vibe regardless. Yeah. Like, if you can do it in the day, don't be too gutted about that because it's still amazing. Yeah. But it's 10 to, 5 to 11 now, so the park closed in five minutes. <laughs> and we're going, we're, we are going to bed, hopefully. Look at all that space. So we're not quite leaving yet because we're just at the castle and it's one minute to 11, so it's one minute to park closing and Natalie said earlier she wanted to do the kiss goodnight and if you don't know what the kiss goodnight is, it's a little goodnight from Mickey on the castle. So um, yeah, we're gonna hang around and watch that. Look at that view. Much better when it's not raining. <laughs> We've just had some more photo pass photos. Two more They're sets. all very similar. <laughs> but I just wanted, we were just saying that the photo pass photographers are so amazing. Yeah. And so I just wanted to say that really, that they are brilliant. They and, give you such um, good guidance and poses and stuff. Yeah. And it just, it's, it makes such a difference. And I think that the issue that I've had with our photos is that I haven't posed very well. It's nothing to, like to do with them. Like the quality of the photos, the ones that I look good in, I'm really pleased with. I don't know about you. Yeah. Good night, Magic Kingdom. That was a long journey back. I think that took the best part of 40 minutes to get from Magic Kingdom to here. The bus was there. Um, we are the last stop on the bus, which makes things look, take longer, but I just don't know why it took so long, whether we went all the way round the resort or what. Um, but we're here and um, we're going to bed because it's bang on midnight now. And fortunately tomorrow we are having a relaxed morning. And then I think we're going over to Animal Kingdom in the afternoon. So thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.